So hello everyone, uh, thanks for coming and attending this presentation. Uh, I will show you today uh, how to improve your system architecture design skills in a funny way using the architecture scatters. Uh, before going further, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Alexandre Touré, I'm an architect and developer. I work at Worldline. Worldline is one of the main companies in the payment industry. Uh, we're interested in the Java ecosystem, the API, the continuous integration, mostly using GitLab CI. Uh, we're interested in the cloud and the software craftsmanship. And uh, you probably recognize my wonderful French accent. Uh, yes, I'm French. I live in the center of the France in Tours. And you could reach me using a Twitter, for instance, with his uh, Twitter handle. So, um, before going further, before going further, before talking about the architecture katas, I will tell you a developer story. Um, once upon a time, in an IT company, there was a developer, this developer named George. And George uh, was really was really good uh, at coding, designing, and so on. He was really good in that. And um, it was very efficient and very light. Uh, beyond of coding, he, he really enjoyed dealing with technical matters. After a few years as a coder in this company, he said, OK, I'm at the crossroads of my life, and I have two choices. And that, oh, can I, um, can I move on? Oh, should I move on to another, um, another job, for instance? So should he continue being a developer? Should he continue, should he move on, sorry, to any other career path, such as management, such as project management, such as business analyst? No. He would like to continue working on technical field. So after talking with his peers uh, and searching on Google, he discovered the architect job. So what is an architect and what beyond that, what is architecture? Uh, it could be a big deal. He found this definition, which is, in my opinion, the most relevant, from Gadi Butch. He said, all architecture is design, but not all design is architecture. Okay, it's not really helpful, by the way. But the second sentence is more helpful. The architecture represents the significant design decision that shape a system where significant is measured by cost of change. If we compare the IT with uh, any other industry, such as uh, the building industry and so on, the, the architecture is mostly on the soil study, on the choice of the materials, rather than the choice of uh, how you have to paint, or you should paint uh, the room, for instance. So, after talking with his manager, George, has the chance uh, to work as an architect. So he started working on a green field or uh, just adding a new functionality in an existing uh, platform, doesn't matter for his presentation. And he discovered that architecture is far beyond coding because the architect must have a clear vision of the system, he must understand and challenge the business requirement, the non-functional requirements, and he has to support the, the developers and the development uh, to promote standards, best practices, and so on. And he also discovered that mostly half of his job is the communication. Is communicating with all of his peers because he has to convince all his stakeholders about his vision and his choices and have to promote them by the way and he has to deal with trade-off most of most of all okay because in architecture he discovered that everything is a trade-off so in your opinion how did it work yes it failed because he, why did he fail? Because he made some misconceptions. Why? Because he discovered that his way of thinking was totally based. When you are a developer, you think as a developer, like a developer. When you are a database administrator, you will think and we will design uh, your platform uh, as a database administrator. 
and most of all, he missed experience. He missed working with his peers, working with other architects, senior architects, uh, sharing his thoughts with, uh, for instance, business analysts, with database administrators, with system engineers, and so on. Um, he could try the, attending some training sessions. Some of them exist. I attended a few, but in my opinion, it didn't worth spending um, days attending it. So, there are many good books on architecture, but such as, for instance, The Fundamental of Software Architecture um, by uh, Neil Ford. But the most important thing in, our, in this field is the experience and comes from that. Ted Neward, the inventor of the architecture of Katas, said that. So how are we supposed to get great architect? If we only get the chance to get the architect fewer than a half dozen times in their career. That's the most important. Um, some people thought about that and found solutions. It was in the martial arts. The ma martial arts promote, uh, have been promoting katas. What are the katas? And uh, I'm not, a, by the way, I'm not a martial art uh, expert, so uh, I picked the definition from uh, Wikipedia. Uh, the katas are just a way of teaching and training strugglers um, by successful techniques, which are preserved and passed on from a struggler to another struggler. And uh, these techniques um, allowed these persons to engage a struggler using systemic approaches um, instead of uh, we are wanting the wheel, basically. So here we are, the architecture katas. Architecture katas are just coding dojo for architects. So uh, if you want to organize a kata, the first stage will be the warm up. During five minutes, you will build teams, mixing different profiles. You don't need any computer, just paper sheets and pen high enough. And as George discovered uh, in the story I talked about uh, earlier, you will, the communication is really important. So you will try to find a suitable syntax and formalism. You can use UML, you can use uh, whatever you want, just boxes and um, hours, it's okay. The second stage, during one hour, you will design uh, your kata, you will design uh, your platform. Um, all the teams get the subject. Um, my opinion, it's better when you provide only one subject for all the teams. You could ask any question you want to the moderator, to the organizer, and um, after the moderator answer to any question, he raised it to the other teams. And the teams could take any exception you want but it must be relevant. And you could use any technology you want. If you want to do, for instance, a, a blockchain application, uh, which use deep learning over Kubernetes and so on, it's okay. But you will have to justify it. And, you, and if uh, you have to say, okay, it's relevant regarding the use case. So here we are, with, what, uh, what kind of use case could you get doing Kata? Just an example about the poorest words, which is a, a real world subject. I discovered it um, during an IT conference in the past, a few years ago. Uh, the public administration has been struggling identifying poorest words to refurbish. And uh, we would like to identify which word was to be revamped. And we would like to use the new car connectivity, connectivity features to provide, to get circulation traffic dashboards. You, ha you only have one key figure, one transaction per second per car, and by reading these katas, you could take any assumption you want, you can ask any question you want, and then you have to design your system in one hour. And the last stage, last but not least, it's the peer review. During five minutes, every team have to present their design. You, and you have to answer to all of the questions and explain your solution to the other teams. 
Here is an, uh, an example of Kata um, I held in the past uh, uh, three years ago in the IT Tech Conference to NTech. Um, you could check that in the left. We mix different profiles from different company during this workshop. And um, they, they work during one hour. And after that, they presented their, their design to the other teams. And to make it fun, we, uh, we elected the most, uh, uh, the better design, the best design, sorry. And uh, there are goodies for the, for the winners. So what about our world line? Our world line, we started some initiatives setting up the Qatar as a regular meeting before the COVID-19 crisis, sadly. Uh, we started on that session using Zoom. Uh, it worked, it worked. Um, it was hard, but it's harder, it's harder than uh, it, um, in real life meetings, but uh, you can do that. And we contextualize and complexify step by step all the subject. We started with an easy subject, and then we we try to to address more comp more complex subjects, and we try to address um, existing application use cases. What are the benefits we got? Uh, first, working in a new team on a new subject is really refreshing, especially if you work on the delivery team. Yeah, we try to, and uh, using the kata, you you train to you will train to identify and deal uh, and deal with requirements. But this kind of um, this kind of things missed to George in my last story. And you will be trained to communicate and persuade persuading with stakeholder with different stakeholders. And then you will understand other ways of thinking. And last but not least, it will be better thanks to your colleagues' experience. Um, what about our wishes? We would like to use the kata to just putting this kata definition with kata design into a knowledge base to be used during our next application designs. Um, and we would like to integrate architecture kata into uh, our in-house uh, software architecture training sessions. If you want to go further, you could check on the two first links. Um, many examples of our architecture kata subjects and in description uh, on how to promote and how to organize architecture katas. Uh, on the third uh, link, you could get an article I wrote with uh, one of my colleagues about architecture katas and uh, its organization. And finally, you could check this book of uh, software architecture. I read, I read it, and it's really, it's really a good book. I will f finish this presentation by uh, the quote from Aristotle, who said, by dint of building well, you get to be a good architect. Thank you very much.